Hi. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, we are doing something a little bit different. Um, the last couple days, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, uh, last couple days I have been fishing and did not bring a camera. I am out today in the boat with John from Mindac Outdoors. He has made the journey to Wisconsin. Every year he does this. Um, and we spend like a solid week, two weeks, fishing out here in the Green Bay area. And today we are gonna be attempting to catch some walleyes out on the big lake. Now we have been fishing the big lake for the last couple days, like I said, just with no cameras. So today we are going to be attempting to film a video for you. Now, I'm not gonna lie, uh, conditions are kind of tough. It's beautiful out here, but the problem is with that is the water is super clear, there's ice everywhere, and yeah, it's really hard to actually locate and catch fish. But today, it's gonna be a grind, I know that, but I wanna bring the camera along because if we do get into a group of fish, it's gonna be lights out. Um, the other group of guys that is up in this area um, have caught some really nice fish already, biggest being a 29 and a quarter. So big fish are already around, you just gotta take the time to find them. Once we get out, actually out there, I can talk to you more about what we're gonna be doing, how we're gonna be finding these fish, but yeah. Thought I'd pull out the camera before it gets too windy and too brutal out there. And we're just gonna see if we can make some magic happen. So stay tuned guys, should be a good one. Well guys, we have made it out on the bay and we have been scanning, God, it's probably been an hour maybe even two hours. We have not even taken a rod out of the rod locker yet and made our first cast of the day. If you guys have never come out here um, and tried this type of fishing, this is what most of your day is gonna be. A lot of sitting, driving, and idle, and scanning. We're just mapping, finding, we're trying to find a pattern right now. We just did a pass where we actually marked the most fish. Uh, the first hour, we didn't even mark a fish. Um, water temperature is a really big thing out here, especially when it's super early. There's ice everywhere in the bay. Um, so even if you can find like half a degree water temp difference, that's when we started marking our fish. So right now, I think now that we found some fish, we're gonna find a way to make our first drift. What we're gonna be throwing is ripping wraps today, going with the wind, uh, making just long casts, retrieving it back. And it's the best way to cover a lot of water. Now, if you're on like a mega school, definitely take the trolling motor out, spot lock and just hammer fish but for searching and finding especially when they're scattered like the most we saw in a group was maybe four or five so you're not really going to spot lock on them and target those exact fish but if you do long drifts like what we're going to be doing um, you might be able to pick off one or two a pass so we're gonna go back up to the main top part of where we saw fish get the rods out get the gopros on and hopefully start catching some fish Well, I don't know how well this GoPro can pick up audio or see anything with the sun glare, but two fish follows right to the side of the boat, and uh, I missed both. So that was pretty lit. John and I did get to see the fish. Um, you know, I don't know exactly how big, but nice quality, average size bay fish. Uh, we we're on them. We just now got to get hooked up. Oh, perfect. So we're like not even anywhere remotely close to our marks. I love that. Saw that one eat it right there. Tiny girl. Get in the boat. 
out. Tiny. Woo! Probably the smallest bay fish I've ever caught, but that's probably the goldest fish I've ever caught. We'll take them like that. All right, so it's been slow, but I finally got bit and we got a decent one. I'm gonna show you guys it. Okay. Woo. That is a fatty. That is a fatty. This is like an average on the bay, probably 26-ish, 25-ish. We're gonna bump it for you guys, but it's got some really cool colors as you guys can tell. Really gold and just a very good looking fish, but I'm gonna measure up her. Oh yeah, John. like I said, 26, a little under 26 and a, a 26 and a quarter. Man, it's the fatness that just sees Yeah. Me. Oh, there we go. Oh, just a beautiful fish. And there's bigger in here. That's scary to think. <sighs> Woo! Woo! We did it. Hey, it's windy out here. It's a little bit windy, but there we go. Nick needs one now, man. <sighs> this is the point of the video where we're going to drive back to the landing. Uh, we've been scanning probably for like most of the day really and have not seen what we want to see so i don't know we're gonna head back uh this is not actually where we're gonna end today's video though we are gonna head back put the boat on the trailer drive to who hut actually get some dinner because we've been craving it the last few days and then we're going to drop the boat in the fox river and do a little night bite so i will be filming that but first we have to somehow make the trek back to the landing we got probably a five mile run and the waves have definitely gotten bigger the wind switched directions i don't know if you guys can tell probably from this but yeah we got some big time rollers hopefully the lun can handle it it's gonna be a rough ride for sure i know john's really looking forward to it but yeah thought i would just pick up the camera tell you guys kind of what's going on so that way it's not just a cutscene and all of a sudden it's dark and we're at the fox so yeah, we're gonna attempt this ride back and I guess next time I pick up the camera, I will be unloading the boat into the Fox River. All right, you guys, so we have made it out on the Fox River and plan of attack is we're gonna go up to the dam. That's where we're at right now. Found a spot, not too many people up here and uh, we're gonna spot lock. And basically the remainder of the night, we are going to be throwing jerk baits up here and pretty much you just cast it out reel down let it sit in the current give it a few twitches and the fish hit so the remainder of the night i think we're just gonna relax sit back and hopefully hammer some fish so john and i are gonna get rigged up get the gopro set up and hopefully catch some fish for you guys
Well guys, we have made it back on the landing after a very, very, very long day of fishing. And uh, when I say very, I'm talking like 15 hours worth of fishing today, John and I did. It is about 2.45 in the morning and yeah, we just got off the water. Pretty good day, I mean, it was a grind. It's always a grind when you come out to the Green Bay area, especially early like it is right now. Um, the bay, definitely tough. Uh, John was the only one that actually landed a fish today. It was pretty nice, but I unfortunately had those two and just couldn't land them. So then, you know, we went, got dinner, that was great. Came out here and didn't really do a whole lot of talking. Um, it was basically just set up the GoPro and just hammer some fish, which we did. Um, we were just chilling in the chairs and having a jolly old time. We probably landed, I don't know, 30, 40, I don't know how many, but we sorted through them. Just didn't get that one right bite that we were really looking for and hoping for. Uh, usually when you come down here and you do the night bite, um, you're always getting one over 25 for sure. Uh, a lot of people catch, you know, the 29, 28, 30s all all of what you hope for but it just didn't happen it wasn't the right night and that's okay we still had fun if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure to give it a thumbs up there will be more content coming out real soon hopefully out on the bay i do want to hit that pretty hard just because i've been fishing the fox river for so many weeks now that i'm really just getting sick of fishing a river so getting out on a lake uh figuring it out just intrigues me a little bit more so if you guys want to see more bay content just stay tuned because hopefully it will be coming john and i are going to finish packing everything up here get on the road we got about a 30 minute drive before we get to the place we're going to be staying tonight and then uh yeah when we wake up we're going to be just getting back in the boat grinding another day hopefully filming another video so again if you guys enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below subscribe if you guys are new and i will talk to you guys on the next one tight lines from nb edits